Welcome to the one-minute talks of the four CVPR papers of the Dynamic Vision and Learning Group of the Technical University of Munich. Enjoy! Hi, my name is Guillem, and I'm going to present our work on learning a neural software for multiple object tracking. Our goal is to determine the trajectories of all objects in a video. This problem can be split into two tasks. First, detecting objects in every frame, and then linking them into trajectories. The second step is often treated as a graph partitioning problem, in which every node represents an object detection and every edge a possible temporal link. Typically, different queues are first combined to define a cost for every edge, and then these are used within an optimization framework to select the edges that are part of trajectories. In this work, our main contribution is a neural network that operates on the graph domain and can both extract features and predict the final graph partition. More specifically, we build a graph in which spatial temporal and appearance queues are encoded as node and edge embeddings. We then use a message passing network to propagate these embeddings across the graph. Finally, we classify edge embeddings into active and non active to obtain final trajectories. Thank you for your attention and please see our longer video for further details. Hello, we are presenting you focus and defocus paper. In this work, we focus on depth estimation from a focal stack that is trained only on synthetic data by silicon generalized to real data. Depth estimation models are hard to generalize outside their training data domain. We propose to focus on domain invariant features such as Blur, which can be modeled mathematically in synthetic data. To be able to use Blur, we use focal stack as an input. Focal stack is a set of images taken from the same position, so you don't have to move your camera, but with different focus distances. Whole capture process takes seconds. We use permutation via networks to first estimate defocus map and then depth map. Permutation bias networks allow us to compare between different input images to estimate the amount of blur to determine fo the focus and depth maps. We show that using such networks and having intermediate representation like defocus helps to generalize to real data. We show the results on mobile depth dataset and on photos from our smartphones. For more details, please check our paper and come chat with us. Are you interested in detection and tracking, but still worried about data privacy? We definitely are, which is why we have been working on CIA-GAN, a method to anonymize video data, like this. We want to be able to use video footage to understand the scene around us, and autonomous cars should too. In order not to invade people's privacy, we have developed a method that detects sensitive content, such as a face, and privatizes it to generate an anonymous, realistic version of it depicting an identity that does not exist. The new image still needs to be recognizable as a face by computer vision algorithms and needs to be anonymized consistently over time so we can still track it without identity switches. Our method is based on an identity control generative adversarial network that, given an input face, generates another face with different identifying characteristics. The new face will not be identified as anyone. For more details on the GAN that created these results, Come and chat with us. In this paper, we proposed a MOT training framework directly derived from MOTA and MOTP metrics. We used the approximated and differentiable MOTA and MOTPS losses and backpropagates the gradient to the deep mode tracker through the differentiable deep Hungarian nets replacing the Hungarian algorithm. To know more about our research, do not hesitate to visit our website. 